In the first problem of section 1.3, we'll use partial fractions to compute the uh, integral of the function written on the board. Uh, first of all, we want to factor the uh, denominator. So we see that the denominator factors as x uh, plus 2 times x plus 3. So we want to apply partial fractions uh, and rewrite the expression here. Uh, so we want to rewrite 11x plus 26 over x plus 2 times x plus 3 uh, in the form a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 3. Now, if we uh, multiply by each term by both denominators, uh, we see that um, a times x plus 3 plus b times x plus 2 um, over x plus 2 times x plus 3. Uh, we see that that'll be equal to uh, 11x plus 26 uh, over x plus 2 times x plus 3. So now we can uh, simplify in the numerator on the left hand side and collect, like, collect and match like terms. This means that ax, or we'll have ax plus bx, or a plus b times x. Uh, plus uh, 3a plus 2b uh, will equal 11x plus 26. Now, uh, the coefficient of the x term on the left hand side is uh, a plus b. On the right hand side, it's 11. So this means that a plus b is equal to 11. And also we have that 3a plus 2b is equal to 26. So now we just have a system of two equations and two unknowns that we can solve for. Uh, if we multiply the first equation by minus 2, We can then use uh, elimination to get rid of uh, b, and we're left with a is equal to 26 minus 22, or a is equal to 4. And since a is equal to 4, this means that 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2b is equal to 26. And this implies that 2b is equal to 26 minus 12, or 14, so that b is equal to 7. So going all the way back to, up to the point where we started doing the partial fraction decomposition, uh, see that a is 4, and b is 7. Now, rather than integrating the left-hand side, we can just integrate the right-hand side, which together with a simple u substitution, uh, we can solve this integral rather quickly. So this is the integral of 4 over x plus 2 uh, plus 7 over x plus 3 dx. Now, this is just going to be equal to 4 times the natural log of x plus 2. And if that's not completely clear, just try the substitution uh, u equals x plus 2. You'll see that you know, du will just equal dx, so you can just actually take the natural log of the denominator in this case, although you normally cannot do that. And similarly, the second term will be 7 times the natural log of x plus 3.
uh, should say absolute value in both first of the natural logs in both the first and second terms, and plus a constant. 